All right, welcome back to Metaverse Marvels. In this first video of our character customization series, we're going to start right at the beginning by importing our Vroid character into Unreal Engine. Now, for those of you who are new to Vroid, it's a great free tool for creating anime-style characters very quickly. You can customize hair, face, clothes, and accessories without touching 3D modeling software. Now, here's an important tip for this series. When you set up your hair, eyes, ears, and tail colors inside Vroid, make sure they are all pure white by default. Why? Because later in this series, we'll build a color customization system using sliders for hue, saturation, and brightness. If your base color is white, Unreal can shift it into any color dynamically without weird artifacts. This gives your players full control over character appearance, like choosing hair color or eye color on the fly. Where? And the best part? It exports your character as a ready-to-use 3D model that you can bring into Unreal Engine. Right now, I'm exporting the default Vroid textures for clothing because I don't have my own custom ones ready. <laughs> and that's totally fine. Vroid already gives you a good set of base templates to work with. Here's something you need to know. By default, Vroid gives you five texture layers for clothing. That sounds limiting at first, but don't worry. Those five layers aren't shared across everything. You'll actually have five texture templates for each category. Five for tops, five for bottoms, five for shoes, five for accessories, and so on. So it's more flexible than it might seem at first glance. That means you can design multiple looks inside Vroid itself without running out of slots immediately. For example, you can have five different shirts saved as textures, five different pants or skirts, and five different shoes. Then you can swap them in and out as needed. But let's say you want even more freedom. Maybe you want a custom jacket, a unique hat, or a pair of sneakers that Vroid doesn't give you. That's where Blender, Maya, or Substance Painter come in. You can model your own outfits, texture them, and then attach them to your Vroid character before exporting. There's one important rule, though. Make sure your custom outfits have their own materials. And make sure they fit the Vroid rig without breaking the skeleton. If your mesh isn't skinned correctly, animations won't work. And your character's customization will break inside Unreal. So when you build in Blender or Maya, keep the Vroid skeleton intact and just add your clothes on top of it. That way, everything will behave nicely when we start swapping outfits. For this tutorial, I'm keeping things simple. I'm not creating custom clothes in Blender or Maya. Instead, I'm using the default textures that Vroid provides. That way, even if you're a beginner, you can follow along step by step. 
but I want you to know upfront. The system we're going to build works equally well with Vroid defaults or with your own custom meshes. setting up your default clothing textures, make sure the eye icon next to the layer is turned off. If it's on, Unreal Engine won't display the clothes properly once you import the character. So always double check that this little eye toggle is off before exporting. That way, all the clothes, shoes, and accessories will be visible and work correctly in Unreal.
export my Vroid character as a VRM file. VRM is Vroid's native format. Unreal doesn't support VRM out of the box, which is why we use a plugin. Now, I'm not covering the VRM plugin setup in this video because I already made a separate tutorial on my channel that explains how to enable and use the plugin step by step. To keep this episode focused, I'll put that link in the description below. So if you haven't enabled VRM support yet, make sure you watch that first. Once the plugin is enabled, just drag and drop your VRM file into Unreal. Unreal will handle the conversion and your character will appear in the content browser. At this point, you'll see your character mesh along with all the materials. In my case, I'm sticking with the default shirt, shorts, and shoes. But if you wanted to, you could already have replaced those with custom outfits from Blender or Maya, as long as they were properly rigged and had their own material slots. When you look at the materials, you'll notice that Vroid organizes them into just a few slots. Hair, face, body, clothes, and shoes. Those are the five base categories I mentioned earlier. Later, we're going to use Blueprint Logic to dynamically override these slots. So when a player selects a new shirt or pair of shoes, Unreal will just swap out the material on that slot in real time. And here's the great part. Even though Vroid gives you only five slots per category, our Blueprint system will let you treat those as templates. For example, you might have five shirts set up as textures inside Vroid, but in Unreal, you can expand that further by assigning completely new materials or meshes as part of your customization menu. So you're not stuck. You're just starting with a structured foundation. So to recap this step, Vroid gives you five templates for each category like tops, bottoms, shoes, and accessories. You can expand beyond that by creating outfits in Blender, Maya, or Substance Painter, as long as you give them proper materials and keep the Vroid rig intact. Make sure your hair, eyes, ears, and tail colors are white so we can shift them dynamically with sliders later. And if you haven't set up the VRM plugin yet, check the link in the description for my tutorial on that. All right, that's all we needed for this first video. The goal here was to 